up. Hi, Gail. Wake up. She's all tired this morning. <laughs> She's like, ugh. I need, a, I need like, um, like a uh, one of those Curtis TP fifteen huge <laughs> two gallons. all ca all coffee today. <laughs> two gallons. Well, we'll just do intervene. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, so we're grinders. About, yeah, we're going to talk about the comparison. We're going to compare the Rocky versus the Breville Smart Grinder. Okay. So. Obviously, this has a digital readout. We should have plugged it in so we could see it. Well, we'll show it when we we'll do show the it grinding. When we do the grinding. Yeah. So you can adjust the um, the amount of grind that comes out, the um, the consistency of the grind, and timing. You can program timing as well. Okay. So uh, that's one thing on this that the Rocky does not have. You can't program anything. Mm -hmm. It's on and off. Okay. That's your programming. Nice. You. <laughs> <laughs> this holds a pound of coffee. This holds eight ounces of coffee. And um, this one here, I've already locked it. You can lock it and unlock it so that you can take it off, replace your beans if you want. And while we're in here, this is how you get the burrs out on this one. Twist them. Yep, and they're about a, f it, I can't find anywhere where it actually states the exact size, but they're about a 40 millimeter conical stainless steel burr grain. Burr. Okay. See that? Mm-hmm. Nice stainless steel casing. Like a little brushed finish. Yep. So then you put this back on there and unlock it. Now if I, it won't come out, but if it did, it'd be beans everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then this guy has like this porta holder. Yep. It comes with a, a few different <clears throat> accessories. Yep, it comes with, and we'll, we'll hunt that up and show you in a second. It comes with this porta filter holder and there's two different sizes, one for 58 and then uh, for 52s and the smaller, smaller ones. ones yeah. Okay. And also a container that goes down in here, like you just mentioned. This comes out for cleaning. You know, pretty nice. Yeah. Here's your push button that starts it. On the uh, Rocky Grinder, mm -hmm. it is a 50 millimeter flat burr, and we'll show those in a second. Okay. Uh, this is how you make your adjustment, zero to up to about 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. And take this apart. And um, this is the doserless model. Exactly. It comes with a doser, which is a, a big round container on the front that has a, a lever on the side that okay. will dose out. Uh, every time it doses, it's seven grams. But this one, you're just grinding as long as you grind it. You're yep. just holding the button down. It's a it's a rocker switch. It, it won't run unless you have your hand on it. And this comes out for you to put con a container under here if you're doing like French press or drip or something like okay. that. Okay. So it's kind of convenient for that. And then this is the porta filter holder. And so <clears throat> if you're somebody who wants, both of these grinders can do like uh, espresso up to like drip and stuff like that, French press. So if you're somebody who wants to use it for that, this might be a better choice. So you can get a container under because yes. that, that doser hopper well, doesn't have I, a lot of space. Oh, no, you don't want to use the doser for this. For, uh, French, for like press French press or anything, anything with a container, it just doesn't work well. Okay. This is this will do either. The other one is strictly for espresso, but although you can set the grind the same, it still has the same zero to fifty seven. You know, um, somebody years ago said that they had this little tiny, like you know, um, butter container. I was about to say parquet, and I was like, does parquet even exist anymore? Anyway, yeah, I think it does. but it was just like a little tiny flat flatter uh, uh -huh. container yeah. and he used that sure. to grind out for his like oh, yeah. drip and that kind of stuff because that was that's basically the height like you know about that much that'll fit underneath there yeah exactly yeah yeah like that yeah okay yeah okay yeah a butter tub <laughs> <laughs> you're talking when you said a butter thing i'm thinking now i am i use real butter at home yeah with a glass butter you know the old oh butter dish. got it and I, i'm going oh that butter dish is gonna look funny, funny in there. <laughs> <laughs> a little boat shape thing i guess it should be like a um a, a fake butter tub yeah right there we go <laughs> your margarine tub yes okay. okay so this is how this comes off you take off the three screws and uh and in here, as you can see, here's our mess. Mm -hmm. Now you unscrew this, and this is the top burr. And you got to watch out around here. I've cut myself numerous times mm -hmm. on doing this because it's sharp. On camera, too. Yep, burrs. What's that red spot on there? Exactly. <laughs> I'm always like, let me pan up to Gail's face. <laughs> While she bleeds all over the machine. <laughs> so you got quite a bit of range here, as you can yeah. see. <laughs> this is pretty heavy duty. Okay, we haven't cleaned this at all. Mm -mm. That's the flat burrs. There's the other side right there. 
Also stale. These are little fins um, after the coffee is ground and exits the burrs. These fins uh, make it go around and go down to the chute. Okay. That's their purpose. All grinders have that in okay. one way or another. Some method of pushing yep. the, the mm -hmm. coffee. Some are plastic and uh, they break. Some are metal like this one and they last forever. There's all different ones. So when you have this apart, you really want to clean all of this. Get this Look gunk. at that. Get that gunky yeah, sound of it. Um, cool. All right. Is there anything else you want to say before we pause and then do a grind comparison? Uh, stainless steel casing on this. Uh, ground catcher comes off like it oh, does in the other one. Yeah. I don't think so. They're pretty straightforward. I think this one has a much broader range. As far as the grind yes. is concerned? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It will go, I think, finer than... And we're going to test yeah. it finer than this and coarser. Um, and there's, you know, a couple hundred dollars, well, I guess not that much, but about $150 or so difference in price. Yeah. This is This is definitely a little bit more of a commercial grade as far as the components and stuff are concerned. For yeah. sure. I mean, if you have to, if you pick it up, you can feel the difference in weight. Yeah. It means the motor's a little bigger. So you could squirrel this guy away into a cupboard. Maybe not that one. Right. Well, yeah. you could, but pain in the neck. Every time heavy. you squirrel one of these things and take it and do something with it, coffee always comes flying out and kills all of them. Yeah. I mean, it sits in the chute until you touch it. Squirrels. Yeah. Okay, so um, we'll get them back together and do a grind compare. Yep. Okay, right. so this is the display now that we got it plugged in. This is the finest, you mm -hmm. can see. And if I change it, it's going to go down, down, down. Remove cradle because, because it knows you're down to filter. Oh, so then you put your little care your little container in there. We gotta get that container over here to show you, and then you can go down to press. Okay, but that's pretty, pretty cool. Remove cradle because mm -hmm. you're gonna be whoop. See one shot. So then you can change this to two shots, and whatever you program timing for over here, which is. This is just timing. It isn't really coarser or weaker. It's just putting more or less grounds down into your oh, portafilter. Oh, okay. By amount of time. By amount it's of not, time. It's not actually weighing it or nope. kind of dosing. Nope. Okay. So then you can push this for start, and you'll get one shot, mm -hmm. whatever you've programmed it for, one. Or if you go to two, it'll double it. And then you can interrupt it if you're not getting what you like. Oh, you can always do one and two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you hit two and you decide it's overflowing, you got this a little too high or something, mm -hmm. you got it over here and you forgot. Just Stop see, it. Stop it. Cuts it off. All right. Uh, <coughs> let, do you want to show their fight? Well, their there we finest? go. Let's just do a little bit more. Okay. Let's dump that. Whoa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we got a basket. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do some more. Uh. Still got some granules mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Grain just a little bit more. Make sure. I think maybe we didn't grind quite enough. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, now it's. It's a little bit finer. Not yeah, a lot. A little, little bit. A little bit. Some clumpiness, not much. Okay. Is it, and that and this one's on zero. It's on. Very clumpy. Much finer. Yeah. Talky mm, almost. Yeah. And much, 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 much. Much, much, much. So you want to do something in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Let's take this up because we're going to a coarser setting. We can actually take it up without without having it on. Um, and then the other thing is that when you do make an adjustment, Throw you away. should. Uh, there's always going to be some that's between the burrs and yes. the chute, or so wanna, hanging out in the chute. You should take out about um, 14, 15 grams at least and dump it. Yeah, depending on your grinder, like the bigger mozzers. <laughs> More. Do like 30 grams because they've yep. got a really long shoot. So that's kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's you your can see, now you sort can of like your drip. your fine drip, mm -hmm. your pour over. Now this one here, I'm going to take it up to about 25. See the stuff that came out first, still mm -hmm. clumpy. Yeah. So that's what you're looking to get rid of. El Dumpo. 
This is what I'm good for. I'm a, just a dump station. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Let's just put that right here. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's getting coarser. Yeah. Can you see it? The, um... Here we go. It's getting a, not quite as consistent, and that's what you find as you go up. You but know. they have similar in their consistency, I would say. Yes, I would say so, too. Yes. I mean, obviously, yeah. the Rocky's going finer. Yes. Very talky. And this but is a the, little coarser than this, actually. Yeah. Okay. But the, the particle consistency is very similar. I'm going to take it up some road gravel. Yeah, depress on this one. Uh, you skipped over percolator, gal. <laughs> oh, I did. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, wait till you see what this is all about. Percolator. <laughs> I have an old stove top too that's a family thing that's been around forever. Um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But still pretty consistent, I would say. Yeah, I you mean, know, look, it's got this, big and small. Yeah, but for being like at the coarsest. Yeah, you're right. Always right. What am I doing? Oh, I'll screw up. Yeah. You could use this to fill in the potholes. Yeah, correct. A driveway repair. Kit. Exactly. That actually is about the same as far as uh, granules go mm -hmm. and consistency. Hmm. A little bit more consistent, I think. Yeah. A tad. All so right. There you have it. This so one, this one actually looks like it goes a little coarser than the. I could take you this. could take it crazy up there, though, Gail, and then it, it gets just, like, let's insane. See. Well, let's see. Oh, see, it's then it's, oh yeah. my gosh. That's Ew. just, like, the craziest. Yeah. It's on the bottom, too. Yeah. Um, crazy, man. So, why would I buy the Smart Grinder? If you want programmability. Okay. And the, uh, the looks, it is a nice-looking machine, mm -hmm. for sure. It's pretty on your counter. It holds more beans. And the locking uh, bean hopper to take off the beans, that's real popular. Okay. And why would I buy the Rocky? Uh, probably durability, longevity, uh, a little more consistent, and I think it's probably uh, built a little heavier duty. Okay. Leaning more toward the commercial side of things, I think. Got it. Cool. All what right. What do you think? Um, I agree with that. I think also, like, budget, you know, that's yeah. another thing. Whatever, well, budget, how much you want to spend. Yeah. This really, you get a lot for your money on this. Yeah. Grinder. You really um, do. But I feel like probably if you're, you know, working with a lot of the higher end traditional espresso machines, this guy's going to mm -hmm. be able to get finer for you yes. when dialing yeah. it in. Yep, I would agree. Cool. So what are we going to do for the rest of the day? Um, I thought the that, beach. yeah, I mean, even though it's yeah. just gray and gross uh, out there. There's, there's airplanes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean the beach in Hawaii. Okay. Cabo. I'll meet you yeah, there, Hawaii. gal. Yeah, <laughs> All okay. right. Catch Thank you, you. I'm going to go pack.